with an office like Oakley, I know that there's a lot of staff who left and became directors. And also within the real estate industry itself, as a director, you're probably working hard to try and train your staff to become the best version of themselves. But they move out, they go work for someone else, they get paid better, they open their own office, and it can create competition for you as well. How do you prevent something like that as a director? How do you keep your staff together? You, you, can't, you can't sort of, you can't have a mindset of worrying about yeah. what people may or may not do. I think people are always gonna leave, it's just a matter of when. Mm. It might be one year, it might be five years. They're always gonna move on or leave because the nature of the world we live in now is that people kind of don't stay in the same place for too long. It's not like our parents' age groups who would have worked for offices and corporations and they would have you know, been there for 15, 20 years, got the gold watch at the end and they're done. People now change careers, industries, offices every four to six years. Very easily, yeah. So I think that you can't, you have to embrace the fact that that's going to happen. I think if you create a culture and a clear path for people um, that suit what they want, then you will retain staff longer. Mm. I.e., if you have salespeople, and I guess one of the things is coming from Oakley is that there were so many ambitious salespeople who didn't have a clear pathway to what they wanted most, which was ownership or, or some sort of leadership. And so they had to seek it elsewhere. I think the way that I run my business with all of my guys is that they clearly know and it's they get that information regularly that they've got clear pathways to whatever goal it is that they want. I have guys that might be ambitious to open their own office one day. I have guys that don't have that ambition, but because we have a great friendship, I understand and know their ambitions and I'm creating a really clear pathway for it. So they don't have reasons to leave. You know, they don't have any arguments or frustrations with ownership and leadership that they that they are they are with me but they also know that there's a path if they want it and if their path changes then i can adapt to that change and i think that that is the the way business ownership should be yeah and i think going forward i think a lot of more young business owners understand that better than than older business owners for sure yeah.